This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. In our wildlife segment this morning, we want to talk about badgers because we have a very significant badger story here at the Fort Wallace Museum. When Teddy Roosevelt, President Roosevelt, came through, um, what, 100 years ago now, he was gifted with a baby badger from a little girl in Sharon Springs. And so we tell that story here at the museum, and now we have a badger to go with it. We have a little stuffed badger in the back, and that helps us interpret that story for the kids. So badgers I find incredibly, incredibly interesting creatures, and I have a personal sighting. Occasionally they hide really well, but occasionally one will pop out. So let's take a look at that reclusive badger. Ah, the kindly badger from the wind in the willows. But what of the real badger? Are they as warm and fuzzy as Mr. Badger? Well, if they were, would schools choose them for a mascot? The badger is the largest terrestrial member of the weasel family in Kansas, often weighing 15 to 20 pounds. It has a broad and flattened body and short, powerful legs, and it's not often one is found wearing slippers. Its large forefeet are webbed and equipped with long, curved claws. Distinct black and white markings define the badger's face, and it has a grizzled gray body with black legs and feet. The badger's size, strength, and aggressive retaliatory behavior make it a formidable opponent for most potential predators and have earned it the reputation as one of our fiercest mammals. The badger is physically well equipped for a lifestyle that revolves around digging. Badger dens or burrows are conspicuous, consisting of a large mound of dirt piled around the 10 to 12 inch diameter hole. It digs in search of prey, but also digs to build dens in which to bear young. Three or four young are usually born in April or May. Solitary, except during July and August when mating occurs, even badgers with overlapping home ranges tend to avoid each other through scent marking and aggression. Badgers may range over several square miles, but significantly, significantly limit their movements during winter months. Though not true hibernators, they will remain denned for several weeks or more during periods of extreme cold when excavating prey from, fro from frozen ground would burn more calories than could be gained. The badger's diet consists mainly of underground dwelling rodents or other small mammals that can be dug out of their nest or burrow systems. The badger uses its keen sense of smell to locate prey, then digs a series of holes until the prey is restricted enough to be captured. Badgers prey upon prairie dogs or ground squirrels, pocket gophers, mice and voles, Rabbits, birds, eggs, insects, reptiles, and amphibians are also taken opportunistically. The badger's foraging activity proves valuable for many species of wildlife that lay claim to unoccupied badger dens, and the rodent control provided by badgers is often beneficial to man. However, the large holes left behind provide a minor threat to livestock and farm equipment and badgers can be very destructive in alfalfa fields where dense rodent populations often exist. As a result, they are viewed unfavorably by many farmers and ranchers. The badger has been of minor importance to the Kansas fur trade in recent times, though pelt prices have more than doubled over the past two seasons. Annual harvests of 800 to 1,000 have been typical. Although badgers can be hunted, this is not usually an effective means of harvest or management. Nearly all harvested badgers are trapped, either at den entrances or incidental to coyote trapping. Ah, uh, Mr. Badger in a Coyote Trap. That's a tragic chapter missing from the wind in the willows. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, 
and US 40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP. That brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun.